Hey guys, what's up today? I'll be showing you guys a tweak called 3D App Version Spoofer. And this tweak is so amazing, guys. I'm gonna show you exactly what it does. Um, pretty much what it does is that it allows you to change your app version on your iOS device or iPhone, um, which is really cool. Um, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you guys can use it for. There's other reasons you guys can use this for, but I'm just gonna show you the main reason why I, what I would use it for, what I actually what I do use it for. So this is a tweet, guys. Um, you see, it does actually get a consistent update still, just was updated 10 days ago. Today's July 29th, it was just updated July 19th. It supports iOS 12 to 14.8.1. Obviously, you guys need a jailbreak, um, some kind of package manager like Cydia, Cilio, Zebra, and then you guys just wanna install this tweak. Um, so this is right here, some screenshots. Um, so what they, uh, we have to do is actually don't just change it like the version of the app to any version you want. That's kind of worthless. Well, I mean, you can, but don't just change like a random app. I mean, random version, what I'm trying to say. Go to the app store, which I'm about to show you, and look to see what current really versions they have. And what it does is it tricks the app or game in thinking that you have that version of the app or game, even though you don't. Um, so it's pretty cool. It does not work for every app or game. Just keep that in mind. But it does work for a decent amount of them that I tested out on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys pretty much. You guys can read this for yourself. I'm going to show you guys how to use this. And also this is in the Havoc repo, which is this right here. So you can just add that repo. And then you guys can search for it. Um, 3D app version spoofer or just go inside the uh, repo right here. Should be on top since it's a 3. Uh, actually, maybe it's on the bottom. Yeah, okay, that's on the bottom. Right there. Okay. Um, they also have 3D tools, but that's another cool tweak. All right, so pretty much, I just want to see what this speak. Uh, okay. Yeah, for this one, you guys should get other cool stuff, but all right. I get distracted easily, guys. Okay, pretty cool. All right, so that device out of the way, that, that's how you just install it. So now, this is a device that has an on, installed on there. So this is, I'm going to use two examples. Um, pretty much they both are the same thing, but two examples. So I went to the app store, see the app or game. Okay, so we're going to do robots, all right? So this is the version, right? Okay, and you go to version history, and you get like the older versions, you get the updates with them, and all right, these are the version numbers right here on the side. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually go over to the game, which is robots, and we're gonna hold on to it, and this is gonna come up. This right here will come up, spoof app version. Spoof it, it tells you your current version, there's a warning saying it could adapt, you know, could adapt differently, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you always see worse and worse is go to reset the default version, that's just the going back to the way you had it before, like the default version of the app installed. Um, so first off, we'll open up, okay? I'm gonna show you that this works. Now like I said, it doesn't work on every app or game, but it does work on a good amount. Right here it says, please upgrade, okay? So it's telling me to upgrade because my version's out of date. Okay, cool. Actually, do I have, all right, yeah. All right, so let me close this out. All right, and let me look right here. Hmm, the most current version is 253, so 2536, 458. Okay, so I gotta remember that. Okay, five, three, six, four, five, eight. Oops. All right, so that's it right there, okay? So I'm gonna set spoof version, right? Not cutting the video or anything. Go back to the app or game. Hmm. It just what happened to the update? It said it let well let's in because it thought it tricked the game or app and thinking that we had the latest version, even though we really don't. So that's why now I'm in the app, I can use it, everything's fine, you know. But let me close it out. If I go back here. Right, spoof app version. And let's I go back to the default, which is an outdated version, open back up. Now it's gonna tell me to update it. So yeah. Pretty cool. Um, it does work, like I said, not for every Apple game. You could use this for however you guys want to use it for. I don't know really any other reason, or re I mean, or any other use this has, because like, you know, you can change the app version. Um, I guess you could like, you know, use this to get like the newer or even older like app features. Um, cause it's, you know, I only think like you get the app features cause like the app, this the app thinks it's the older version. So like, I don't think you get the features related with the older versions or newer versions of the app or game. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next one and peace.